guys like to go ahead and purchase cheap and instant free transfer GTA 5 modded accounts, Call of Duty recovery services, discounted games, and in-game currencies, then click the link in the description of this video. Yo, what's up Prestige community, it's Zav or PMHD here, we're running a super dope free V-Box and Shark Card giveaway just for you guys. Winners announced every Sunday to enter, follow the steps on screen. What's happening out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get props and frozen money online. You can buy everything in the game for free. This is only for PS4. I'm sorry, Xbox guys. This is not for you. It's impossible to do on Xbox and you'll see why if you watch this video. This is only for PlayStation 4 users, okay? So let me give a shout out to Fart Crew and Savage Crew for finding this glitch. Uh, you know, good stuff, all right? This is a pretty cool glitch. It took me a little while to hit it, but with some practice you can get it okay it's not super crazy you know at first it did take me a little bit but you can get this glitch okay just takes practice like anything else so what you need is obviously an online character you need a certain amount of money in the bank for whatever you want to buy and you need a friend at some point to do this okay or to help you out with the glitch all right just to help you get online all right but this is not solo you need a friend at the very end to help you get online so Right now what you're seeing is I actually went online as my online character first and then came back to story mode. So before you begin this glitch, go online, invite only session, whatever you want, then return to story mode. You must do that, alright? You must create a path online first, okay? So now what you see me doing right now is I went online and I'm coming back to story and now as you can see I'm Franklin. So. Once I'm Franklin, or, or any story mode character, you know, for, for that matter, all you got to do is open up your interaction menu and enter into director mode, okay? So you're going to see right here, I'm going to open up my interaction menu, and I'm just going to hit director mode. So once you do that, you should spawn into the DM trailer, all right? Just wanted to go really slow in the beginning here so I can kind of explain everything that you're going to need, all right? So it's, like I said, it's a bit tricky, but the glitch itself is literally like 30 seconds long, okay? I slow it down a lot, but the glitch itself to get glitched out is like 30 seconds, and then you can bring everything else. The setup is just a little while as well, but you guys will get it, trust me, all right? And like I said, only PS4. So now you're going to see me spawning into the DM trailer, okay? So any second now, there we go. I'm at the DM trailer as a story mode character. What you want to do is go ahead and just press up and enter into director mode. All right, so now I'm going into director mode. What you need to do now is actually set up a scene, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is actually open up the interaction menu when I spawn into DM, all right, as Franklin, Michael, Trevor, doesn't matter who you are. So open up the interaction menu, and you want to go ahead and actually go into scene creator, all right? You're going to want to create a scene before you do the rest of, you know, the glitch, okay? So... Right now, pick a scene that's empty. Doesn't matter which one it is. I had stuff in scene one and two, so I'm gonna make a fresh scene just for the video. So I'm gonna go to scene three, which is empty right here. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and select scene three, go to props, and then now you wanna just scroll all the way to the right until you get to the big stunt track props, okay? So you see these stunt extras, the big ones that rise up off the ground? You wanna place 50 of these just all over the map. Space them out a little bit, definitely space them out, you know, a good amount but place all 50 as you can see me doing right here all right once you've done that go ahead and press circle save the scene all right save the scene the scene is now saved but you want to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere if you close app or head online and back offline so back out of all these menus and then once you're at the main menu you want to go ahead and quit director mode okay i definitely recommend doing this because you probably will fail a bunch in the beginning okay and you want to make sure that this scene saves so you don't have to keep remaking and doing all that props all those props so right now I'm just making a game save through the phone in story mode made a game save there you go that scene is saved go ahead and go back into director mode now by opening up the interaction menu and just hitting director mode now once we're in director mode at the trailer you're gonna hit enter director mode right here through the menu okay so hope you guys are following me that's all you got to do to set up and then we are ready to go to hit the glitch. Okay, so now we are back into director mode. Remember, head online first before you come back to do the glitch, okay? So go ahead and open up the interaction menu, go to scene creator and, or yeah, scene creator, and you wanna go ahead and go into scene 
in my case scene three the one that i just made okay you want to spawn in that scene now i have all the scenes or i have all the stuff in the scene go to place props okay once you're at place props what you need to do is just select one of these big tracks okay it doesn't matter just you know scroll through them and select one now you want to go ahead and get a recent activity ready this is why we can't do this on xbox so get a recent activity ready hover over start gta online so here's slow motion you're going to press triangle double tap the ps button hit start gta online decline the alert now we're stuck frozen on this screen with no menu you want to like fast tap down and x at the same time just spam them down x down x down x just keep spamming them right now until the menu comes back when the menu comes back just keep spamming you're going to get a black screen Okay, once you get the black screen, you're going to see it coming up real soon. You want to double tap the PS button again, start GTA Online, decline the alert. So you see that? Black screen, double tap, start GTA Online, decline the alert. Spam, down X, down X, another black screen. Double tap the PS button, start GTA Online, decline the alert. You're going to be falling, and then boom, press pause. Okay, once you've pressed pause, what you want to do now is, and you see I'm invisible and falling. That's what you want to see. Head over to the Rockstar Editor. Once you're at the Rockstar Editor, Go over to director mode and then select X. Right when you get right after you select X, double tap the PS button, start GTA Online, decline the alert. Okay, if you spawn back at the trailer, that will happen at times. What that means is that you actually hit pause too early. Okay, you need to wait a little bit. But if you fail, just go ahead and you can reset back up to do the glitch. Just hit enter director mode again. We're back in our scene. So I'm setting up right now. I picked a prop that I want to go ahead and teleport to. So I'm going to be teleporting over to this prop. I'm going to hit triangle, double tap the PS button, start GTA Online, decline the alert. Boom. All right. I'm on this part. This is where there's no menu or anything. Right now, you are spamming down an X continuously. Spam down an X. Just keep spamming them. All right. You will eventually get the menu back. Once you get the menu back, you will continue spamming and you will get another black screen. And like always, whenever you get a black screen, you're doing the recent. So we should be getting the menu back right here just keep spamming black screen double tap the ps button gta online decline the alert and then we're back here keep spamming black screen double tap the ps button start gta online decline the alert we're falling boom press pause okay you want to hesitate about a second and a half press pause go to rockstar uh, rockstar editor hit director mode once you've hit director mode press x double tap the ps button right away start gta online decline the alert okay if done correctly, you will end up frozen on top of your, one of your props. That's how you know you've done it successfully, okay? So that's how you make, That's how you get glitched out. That's the hardest part, and that will take you a little bit to get used to, okay? But that is the hardest part to do, all right? But once you've done that, everything is smooth sailing from here. So ask your friend to go into a public session and join a job, okay? Once he's in the pregame lobby of a job, he's going to send you an invite through the party. Shout out to my boy Vladdy for helping me out, all right, making this video. So... I'm going to go and press pause, go to the friends tab and go to my friend's name and hit accept game invite. Once I've done that, you should get session details above the pause menu. Go ahead and accept that alert and then you should get shot up into the clouds. Once you're shot up into the clouds, I recommend waiting here, maybe five, ten seconds. OK, just sit here. Just wait. You will be stuck in the clouds. What you want to do is then go ahead and open up your PlayStation dashboard and you're going to be suspending app. OK. But just sit there for, you know, 10 seconds, I'd say. Go ahead and open up Spotify or trim a clip, whatever you want to do. And then once you do that, you'll come back to GTA Online. You'll get that alert. Accept it. You should get quitting session at the bottom right. Once you have quitting session, eventually it will turn into joining GTA Online. And then you will start actually joining an online session. Your friend can now back out of that job. Your friend doesn't need to be in the job anymore. He did his part. So you just need your friend to be in a job and then send you an invite. That's it. So... I'm almost out of breath here, all right? But that's that's how you do the glitch, guys, okay? I showed you a fail, and then I showed you how to actually, you know, hit it perfectly. But that will take you some time. You will not get that in 10, 15 minutes, all right? Maybe some of you will. The majority of you will take a while to get that. But once that happens, you should spawn online, and you should have frozen money and props. The way you check, go to inventory, go to ammo, buy some ammunition. Look at that. Frozen money right there. Nothing's being taken away. Okay, that's how I know I have frozen money right there, and your props are also online. So, at this point, what you can do is open up your phone, press up, and then right, and then you actually will uh, click X, and you will be able to hit the internet. 
Once you're on the internet, you have frozen money, you can go ahead and buy a bunch of Deluxos, okay? Deluxos are the best-selling vehicle uh, to buy, the best-selling car. So at 4.7 mil, but look how much money I have. You need at least 4.7 mil or whatever the Deluxo costs in the bank to be able to buy Deluxos. If you only have $1 million, you cannot buy a bunch of Deluxos. You can only buy a bunch of vehicles that only cost at max $1 million. So you see what I mean about the money in the bank? So right now I'm just filling up an entire garage. You saw that I just have a whole garage full of Deluxos and I bought two extra ones, okay? So I just bought a bunch of Deluxos right there just for the video purposes. It's just one garage full, all right? So 10 Deluxos, that's all I bought. Now, what you want to go ahead and do, and I just wanted to show you this, you know, this clip right here. This is me flying back to the city. And as you can see, all my props that I set up in director mode are online. Okay, just like that. So there's an event going on. This is a pretty crazy session to spawn into with all my props. But it looks pretty freaking insane seeing all those everywhere, all right? The city's lit up. It looks kind of beautiful, actually. <laughs> so now at this point, you need to grab a helicopter. Okay, get a helicopter. And you see where I'm marking on the map? Okay, and this is after you buy everything, but this is where the DM trailer is in the sky. So once you're done buying everything that you want to buy, okay, all the cars and the garages and stuff, you want to go ahead and grab a helicopter and fly to that location on the map and just fly straight up. Okay, just hover, just keep flying straight up with a helicopter. Eventually, you'll hit the trailer and you'll know because the helicopter will disappear just like that and you'll be falling. Okay, this is how you unfreeze your money. This is how you unglitch yourself. Okay, so... Now we're just falling and I'm just, you know, you can land, die, do whatever you want. doesn't really matter, all right? Your money is unfrozen, okay, in the session. No need to change sessions to unfreeze your money or anything. So I didn't remember where 331 Supply Street was, so I ended up just actually buying, uh, you know, another garage in its place. If you guys were wondering why it's a different garage, I'm just going to show you real quick that I actually did just buy another garage over it. Okay, so I'm going to buy Murrieta Heights because I know exactly where Murrieta Heights is. So I'm just going to purchase it over, see, 331 Supply Street. That's where I bought all the Deluxos. Okay, and, you know, Murrieta Heights is literally right around the corner. I know the exact location. It's right there. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Murrieta Heights where I have all my Deluxos parked in there, run in there, and I should have all the Deluxos. Okay, there they are. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to the vehicle management, hit right D-pad, select the first car, pick it up, and just move it along all the cars. So hit X, down, double tap X, down, you know, exactly. Just pick up one car and just move it into each slot, okay? Just right down the line. And that's how you actually get the vehicles to stick, okay? You want to do that for all the cars and all the garages that you bought. So if you filled up all your garages with Deluxos, that's what you want to do. You need to swap all the vehicles just like that. Okay, just take the first car and move it into every single slot. Okay, and you should be fine. Okay, so now once you've done that, you want to go ahead and maybe force a game save. You might have a double menu. Just close the menu and open it back up real quick. You can select an outfit to create a, to force a game save. If you look down at the bottom right, I will get an orange save icon. So check it out here in a second. There's the orange save icon. Uh, you can also buy ammo. All right, buying ammo does force game saves as well. So you can actually just open up the interaction menu, go to inventory, ammo, and you can just buy some ammo. All right, that will also force a game save. So once you've done that, you can just head back to story mode. So hold down on the D-pad, just select one of your story mode characters, and then you wanna just accept this alert and you'll head back to story mode. Once again, you fly to the trailer after you've bought everything you wanna buy because flying to the trailer unfreezes your money, okay? So once we're back into story mode, you wanna just make sure that everything is good to go. Press pause, go to online, play detail online, invite only session. All right, now you are going back online to make sure that all those vehicles did stick. All right, in our case, it was just a 10 car garage for the video. So I'm headed back online, just fast forwarding through this a little bit for you guys. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be spawning because I have it on last location. So we'll be spawning right here at the Murrieta Heights and check it out. All my cars are still indeed there. All right, so it worked. That's, all, that's what you got to do, guys, for frozen money. I might put some more info down in the pinned comment, but I think I went over mostly everything in this video. Uh, yeah, so once again, shout out to Far Crew and Savage Crew for this one. Uh, that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out, everybody, and have a great night. Yeah, I've been getting up in the middle of the night to get high. I've been getting up in the middle of the night to get high.
just got feelings for you, I don't understand why I can't figure it out I lose control at your house I just say too much on the couch And I know you got someone else I just hope you keep that to yourself Hope that you could keep it on the DL Like you keep me on the DL Yo, what's good Prestige Community, it's Zav or PMHD here. Don't forget to check out the director featured in today's video if you enjoyed it. Sub link is at the top of the description. Check out our previous videos too. Subscribe, stay tuned, stay prestige. Peace.